Welcome back everybody. Today I want to show you how I easily level my miner to 90 and potentially made millions of gil in the process. This is a very lucrative farm and it takes very little effort. In fact, you can do this farm without the need to constantly upgrade your gear. You can do this farm starting at level 10 and continue all the way to 90. What farm am I talking about? The Diadem Incense, which was part of the Ishgardian Restoration in Firmament. Even though the restoration process was completed many years ago, this is still the best way to level your miner and botanist and make a lot of gil while doing it. The reason for that is because the firmament is the quickest way to level your crafters and the crafters need the materials that can only be found in the diadem. So no matter when you see this video, this farm will still be a lucrative way of leveling your gatherers. In order to start, we need to head to the firmament from Ishgard if you need help unlocking the zone, you can check out the video on top where I show how to unlock it. Once we enter the firmament, you'll want to go talk to Arvel. He will unlock the diadem. Just talk to him once more and you can now head over to the diadem. The diadem is an instance that gives you a three hour window to farm. It's a group of isles set up in a circular pattern. Until level 60, I just went around harvesting whatever I could. Be sure to bring food and survival manuals to increase your overall XP. Any sheep food will work, though I'd focus on food that increases your overall GP and gathering like the antelopes do. You can grab survival manuals from your grand company, use the level 1s until 50, and the level 2s up to 60. You can get higher level manuals for white scripts. I'd also bring a lot of high cordials. If you have completed in Walker, the easiest way of collecting these is from your island sanctuary for 60 blue couriers each. If you haven't unlocked your island, you can also get high cordials for white scripts. High cordials aren't necessary, they just increase the number of higher level mats you can collect. While collecting, be sure to only focus on grade 4 items because the lower grades were used during earlier seasons of the Ishgard restoration. Since the restoration has been completed, we'll only need grade 4. While harvesting materials, you'll slowly fill your compressed ether gouge. Once it's full, you'll have the chance to use a bazooka to kill whatever creature you want in the zone. The creatures drop various materials. I chose to focus exclusively on the elementals because they'll give a random chunk of elemental pieces. This is because I'm in hoarder mode getting ready for Dawn Trail. The elemental pieces will skyrocket in price at the beginning of the expansion. Everyone will be leveling their crafters. So I'm either saving them to level my crafters or sell for ridiculous prices once the expansion hits in June. The weather changes every 10 minutes and the crystals only spawn during the ether cycle, which is every other weather pattern. So I just hoard my gouge cycles for 10 minutes until the crystals respawn. And then bazooka all elementals I see. Once you hit 60, this is the one time you may decide to upgrade your gear. This is in order to gather higher level materials. The higher level materials suffer much more, but it's not necessary in order to level to 90. I just wanted to make more gear, plus I already had the higher leveled white script gear from leveling my botanist and fishing, so I upgraded my gear. At this point, before I head back in, I want to talk to Flat Passant. Yeah, that's it. To see what materials are worth collecting. You see, the match you collect in Diadem need to be appraised by him in order to be sold to the other players. Looking at the list, I'm going to go through Universalis and determine which materials are currently selling the best. Normally I would show you the prices across all servers, but each server is a little different. So I'm just focusing on what is currently selling well on my server. These prices are constantly changing and you may want to double check them every time before you start farming. I just open a notepad and write down which materials are currently selling well. I'll prioritize these mats over the others. At this time it was Electra Moore, True Spring Water, Blue Spirit Ore, but the primary biggest seller item was Rexstones. Since I already blacked out my botanist, I'm able to see the rare level 80 spawns. So I keep Truth of Forest up on my miner. This way I'll be notified when one spawns. And in order to collect as much as possible from my spawn, I'll start with King's Yield 2, which increases each swing yield by 2. And I'll use Bountiful Harvest before each swing until I'm oom. There's also another way to get even more nodes than just this one, and I accidentally found. If you leave the instance after collecting the node, and re-enter the diadem, the node responds. You can do this as many times as you can before the weather changes every 10 minutes. 
it's a nice boost to your guild and skyward points. But if your primary concern is to just level, you can just skip this part and keep grinding in a big circle. Continue collecting materials for as long as you feel like. Once you are done, remember to talk to Flat Passant to have the materials appraised. Every five materials is converted into one tradable version. You'll also be rewarded with Skyward seals and points. You can now sell these materials on the market board and make some nice gil. These materials are always in demand and should sell fairly quickly. Though, there is another way to make some really nice gil. You can now trade your Skyward seals for mounts, minions, and emotes that sell very well. Even if you choose to save the materials and not sell them on the market board to level your crafters, you'll be able to make some nice gil by selling the various items available for seals. This is by far the fastest and easiest way to level your miner or botanist. You can also level your fishing this way, but ocean fishing knocks this out of the water for best experience. Although you may want to also add fishing here between excursions to speed it up. It's amazing how lucrative this farm is even after so many years since the Ishgardian restoration was completed. As long as this continues to be the best crafting leveling experience, this farm will continue to be lucrative. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick look into leveling your gatherers in the diadem. With this farm, you can easily level your gatherer and potentially make millions of gil by doing it. Consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel for more videos like this in the future. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Bye.